Alright, more controversy regarding Team Sky caused by Lotus Sedal. And it's a Lotus Sedal last week in the Dauphiné decided in the team time trial, and I think the individual time trial, which is a prologue, um, decided to use some speed gel. So you can see here, if you look on Victor Campanart's legs, just where my mouse is here, you can see there's some interesting gel on it. And basically what it's designed to do is basically uh, just stop the airflow getting trapped in your skin and just go straight past it. So it basically has less drag than your skin. Now the UCI has lots of stupid rules, and one of them is that you can't, um, you are not allowed to have anything that like increases your speed, which is non-essential, as they say. So you can see here that he, the head of Lotto Sudal, is querying the UCI's decision to ban it, uh, and he's getting angry at Team Sky. Um, so basically, what happens is it leaves deposits of small washing powders, um, washing powder balls, on the rider's legs, um, which is the dimple effect which Team Sky used on their. Uh, skin suits which were made famous in the Tour de France prologue. Um, he says here that he was uh, Mark Sargent, who's the head of Lotus de Dow, that he received a call from Jean Christophe Perrault, who used to do a race, who came second in the Tour de France 2014. Uh, he told me that it was not allowed and they're going to have a look in the matters. And then he just said, Well, if I'm not allowed my little like go faster gel, how come Team Sky allowed their go faster like, skin suits? Because it's the same thing. You don't have to have dimples on a skin suit, like they're only there to make it faster. Um, and the FTJ coach, Fred Gratt, was pretty angry as well, and everyone was sort of saying, oh, it's bad, but, so we can see here, uh, everyone was saying it's bad, and that you know, Team Sky shouldn't be allowed it, um, because it's just increasing the speed, and you don't need it, so, and, I mean, it was just really weird, and Team Sky's defense, and the UCI's defense, was that it's essential to the fabric, like, it's, if they didn't have dimples, the skin suit wouldn't like work, but it's like, yeah, but you could just have something that doesn't have like dimples on it. It was very odd. So you can see here, UCI regulations, it's prohibited to wear clothing or skin suits to which non-essential elements have been added with a view to improving their aerodynamic properties, such as, for example, wings under the arms or an extension between the helmet and the jersey or skin suit. It is ob obligatory for cycling to follow, to, <laughs> for clothing to follow the cyclist's body shape. Sorry about that. So you can see here, it's, uh, it's pretty clear that you can't have anything that's non-essential. And I think the thing with Team Sky is because they made it essential, as in if it wasn't on the sleeves, there would be no sleeves, so then it, it couldn't follow the cyclist's body shape, they somehow got away with it. Um, but Lotto Sedala don't seem very happy about this um, at all, which is not really surprising, because they probably thought they were onto a winner, and now it's just been banned. But it's like, I mean, he says, like, is mud banned now? Is, is like, sunscreen banned? I mean, it's like, it's, it's just hard to say, because in reality... Um, what, what are you allowed to put on? What are you not allowed to put on? Um, I mean, it's just all these little marginal gains. And for me, I feel like sometimes the UCI rules are a bit dumb and sometimes they're good. So like a dumb rule is this whole, like you can't have non-essential things to make your clothes go faster. It's like, yeah, but you want that. Like you want your clothes to make you go faster. Like why would you not want that? It's very odd. And like this gel, it's like, well, yeah, you, put the gel on like you're gonna go faster I mean I can sort of understand it because they don't want it to get ridiculously competitive but team time trials are already such a thing where it's like if you're a rich team lots of money spend money on the bike spend money on training then you're gonna do well anyway so it's already so unfair you might as well just make it like just like the fastest possible um we'll have a quick look at some of the comments um just people not happy um they use fairings on their Bolide TT bikes um, but also like the sock length, like you're not allowed to have a um, sock certain length, like if you see here, I think they can't go above the calf because then it increases aerodynamics. It's just like, sometimes you feel like the UCI just needs to chill out a little bit, have a little less rules, uh, and then it'll be all good. But what are your thoughts about this? Do you think Lotus Sudal should be banned from having this uh, speed gel on their legs? I mean, everyone can use it, surely, like it's just some gel. Um, so for me, I feel like you need innovations like this, like the speed gel, it's a good, good idea. Um, and I hope the UCI changes their rules and I will see everyone wearing, wearing this gel uh, and then I'll be able to go faster. Will they wear, wear on road races? That's the question. Would they like go back to the car 5k to go on like a sprint or something, put some speed gel on and maybe that would make the difference? Uh, I don't know. That would be pretty interesting. You see people with like domestiques with little gel hanging, handing it out to the team leaders and they're like gelling up their legs. I don't really know if that would happen or not. That would be absolutely hilarious if it did. You see all these people with little bottles at the back. Oh, God. Um... <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe the UCI could ban it in road races and allow it in time trials. I don't know. But I feel like just banning anything just because it's new is just a stupid step forward and not a very clever thing to do. Like, you want innovation. You want people to, de like, design things in cycling that's going to make you go faster. If you have no innovation, then no pro companies are going to really want to invest in there um, because they're like, oh, well, we can't really change the rules or anything. Um, so for me, it's, uh, it's definitely an obvious decision that you've got to let the speed gel happen. Like, obviously, if it's a ridiculous thing, um, and maybe not, but I think the speed gel's such a small gain, it just seems odd they don't allow it. But anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, what are your thoughts on the whole, whole deed? Do you think Lotus Adele should wear their speed gels in the Tour de France time trial?